Hi everyone! When it comes to AI, there are so many misconceptions out there that sometimes it's hard to distinguish fantasy from reality. You've probably heard that AI and ML are the same thing, or that AI algorithms can sort out even the messiest sets of data, or that super-intelligent robots are taking over, and those are just a fraction of all the myths we've come across. So, how can you tell facts from fiction? Easy! Keep watching and see how we debunk the top 10 misconceptions about AI with solid evidence. Here we go! Misconception number 1. AI works like the human brain. Despite AI's mind-blowing progress, this notion is incorrect. It seems we can communicate directly with programs, by speaking in English to Siri or by typing Russian words into Google's search engine. But although Google finds associations between words or texts, it struggles with content and grammar. Yes, there are AI novels and TV shows, but their plots are far from masterpieces. So, unless you enjoy reading computer-generated reports, you will most probably find AI writing efforts boring or unintelligible. What about Siri, Alexa, Google Duplex, and the like? Sure, they can make appointments, but they start giving chaotic answers if the conversation goes off track. Watson, for instance, beat the two top human champions in the game show Jeopardy! But it doesn't always win. Once, it tripped up on a question about the Olympic gymnast George Iser's anatomical oddity, missing a leg. Watson specified the part of the body that was… odd. The leg. What it failed to comprehend was that this person had a leg missing. Thus, the answer leg was incorrect. So, if anything, AI has taught us that the processes in the human brain are even harder to recreate than we have previously thought. Misconception number 2. Intelligent machines can learn on their own. Well, they can grasp how to perform a task in a better way. Nevertheless, we, the human programmers, data administrators, users, provide the necessary input for their learning and improvement. You could argue that ML makes it possible for AI programs like DeepMind's AlphaZero to achieve a superhuman level of chess play in a mere four hours. Sure, but AlphaZero's success would be impossible without the data engineers who fed it with the initial data. What about reasoning? Once again, computer scientists enable AI technologies to interpret human languages, be it English or Chinese. With that said, our beloved technologies can't do without us, at least not in the foreseeable future. All right, we're starting to make our way through the list. Misconception number three, AI can be 100% objective. Hardly so. Algorithms are only as fair as the people who create them. So, a prejudiced data scientist will create prejudiced algorithms based on their intentional or unintentional preferences. Funnily enough, these may remain unexposed until the algorithms are used publicly. An interesting example is Amazon's recruiting tool, which showed bias against women. The company's experimental hiring tool used AI to rate job candidates by giving them one to five stars, much like you rate products on Amazon. But by 2015, it was strikingly obvious that candidates for software developer jobs and other technical positions were not rated in a gender-neutral way. As it turned out, Amazon's computer models were trained to scan applicants based on patterns and resumes received by the company over a 10-year period. Due to the male dominance across the tech industry, most came from men. So, what happened is that Amazon's system taught itself that men were the preferable candidates. It penalized resumes that included the word women's and undervalued graduates from all women's colleges. Sure enough, Amazon made the programs neutral to these specific terms, but does that guarantee the machines would not come up with other ways of scoring candidates that could prove discriminatory? Misconception number four. AI and ML are interchangeable terms. AI and ML are often wrongly used as substitutes for one another. So, let's clarify what's what. Machine learning is a subfield of AI of sorts. ML is the ability of machines to predict outcomes and give recommendations without explicit instructions from programmers. AI, on the other hand, is the science of making technology operate through traits of human intelligence. AI is an ever-changing concept due to the constant technological advancements. For instance, in the 1980s, the Gemini home robot was revolutionary with its ability to take voice commands and keep a map of your home for navigation purposes. But today, it would be considered more as a charming relic than AI. Currently, ML is the only feasible path to AI that we are aware of. All right, moving on to misconception number five. AI will take your job. People have had the same fear during any major revolution in history. Consider the Industrial Revolution, for example. However, this is far from grounded. AI is currently designed to work with humans rather than against them. So AI could do boring and repetitive tasks while you concentrate on more creative and challenging work. Even if some roles are taken over by AI, this would most likely generate the demand for new types of jobs based on new capabilities and needs. 
Well, in case you're still anxious about robots replacing you at the workplace, check out willrobotstakemyjob.com, link in the description. Enter your job title and see the percentage of risk for your position. Then, finally, breathe a sigh of relief. <sighs> uh, or not. Misconception number six. AI cannot be creative. AI is not autonomous, but it can be creative when combined with human understanding and intuition. In CG art, the program Aaron, written by artist Harold Cohen, creates original artistic images. Although new styles or imagery must be hand-coded by the artist, thus excluding 100% human-free creativity, Cohen compares the relationship between him and his program to that of Renaissance painters and their assistants. In music, David Cope developed the EMI program, which analyzes the musical genre and compositions and recombines patterns into new original works in the styles of Beethoven, Mozart, Chopin, Bach, and more. How many humans can do that, huh? So, although AI isn't an independent artist, it definitely poses some important questions, like, what is the essence of art? Is it created in the mind of the artist or in the eye of the beholder? Who knows? Maybe AI will give us some creative answers in the future. Misconception number seven. All AIs are created equal. Not at all. In fact, there are three types of AI. ANI, artificial narrow intelligence, AGI, artificial general intelligence, and ASI, artificial superintelligence. ANI is basically the artificial technologies we incorporate in our lives today. They perform single tasks like playing chess or predicting the weather. AGI, on the other hand, hasn't come into existence quite yet. In theory, AGI should be able to completely mimic human intelligence and behavior. It should be a creative problem solver that can make decisions under pressure. Now, it is widely believed that once we reach AGI, we'll be on the fast lane to ASI or artificial superintelligence, a mighty and sophisticated program that surpasses human brain power and will lead us to our demise. Fortunately, for now, this could only happen in your favorite sci-fi movies. Misconception number eight. AI algorithms can figure out any and all your messy data. Now that would be fantastic if it were true, right? But in reality, AI needs our help to figure out data. That's where data engineers come to the rescue. They take the raw data, clean it, and organize it for machines to ingest. From pharmaceutical companies using various data to improve their patient-centric services, to automobile companies using data to predict the performance of their new engine designs, clean data is a must for productive AI solutions. So, if we want perfect results, we'd better make sure we've provided perfect training data first. Misconception number nine, AI is new. Although AI seems like the latest thing, it was first foreseen in the 1840s. That's right. English mathematician and writer Lady Ada Lovelace predicted part of it. In her words, a machine might compose elaborate and scientific pieces of music of any degree of complexity or extent. A century later, Alan Turing laid the foundations for machine learning with the bomb machine used to crack German code for sending secure messages during World War II. A prominent 1950s milestone was Arthur Samuel's Draughts player, which learned to beat Samuel himself. Imagine the headlines it made back then. In the 1960s, computer scientists were developing algorithms for math problem solutions and machine learning and robots. And although AI research funding was scarce in the 1970s and the 1980s, things changed for the better in the 90s, leading to the highest achievements in AI today. So, the initial idea behind the terms AI and ML goes way back. Although, over time, the concepts have changed from what they used to mean. Misconception number 10. Cognitive AI technologies can understand and solve new problems the way the human brain can. Cognitive AI can identify an image or analyze the message of a sentence, but they definitely need human intervention. Facebook, for example, has an image recognition application that analyzes photos and offers the user ads tailored to the content they interact with. The app also helps identify banned content, However, when Facebook tried to identify relevant news to present to users, the automated process failed to distinguish real from fake news. In fact, Russian hackers managed to post deliberately false news on Facebook without detection by automated filters. That's one fine example of security lagging behind. Wonder why? Here's one of the reasons. Turns out, there are certain patterns developed to trick algorithms into misclassifying objects when layered on images. If you're curious for more details, check out the link in the description. There's a pretty cool article at the end of it. So, cognitive technologies are a great tool, but your brain is still far superior. That's it! We managed to explode 10 myths surrounding AI in just a few minutes. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Thanks for watching!